Now, the province of Alberta is fortunate to have major energy resources such as oil, and coal and natural gas, but these aren't the only forms of energy available. From the earliest times when humans first arrived in Alberta, they found, developed and adopted innovative ways to create heat and provide power to do work. All life on Earth benefits from our biggest source of heat, light and energy, the sun. Now, originally, we humans relied on our own muscle power as a source of energy in order to do work. Walking, lifting, carrying, digging, these are all examples of kinetic energy. We also developed tools that helped to magnify that energy so we could accomplish more. For example, look at an atlatl. Now this tool allowed early hunters to throw their spears using less of their own energy but with greater force because it effectively increased the length of one's throwing arm. It magnified our own muscle power. Now, animal muscle could do even more work than human muscle. Early Aboriginal people in Alberta first used dogs to pull travois to carry supplies over long distances. Later, European explorers learned from the Inuit how to harness dogs to sleds to pull them over snowy terrain. When horses were introduced here in the mid-1600s, Aboriginal methods of hunting and traveling changed forever. The earliest use of fuel was the burning of wood, grasses, animal bones and animal dung. Aboriginal people would choose their winter camps based on proximity to fuel sources like wood. Wood was and still is in many parts of the world a major source of fuel. A Euro-Canadian settlement replaced wood with coal. Later, oil and natural gas overtook it in widespread use. But with the arrival of farmers and ranchers, other energy sources were employed. Water had always been necessary for transportation, but now the movement of water in river currents could also be harnessed to generate mechanical energy to power simple machines. Like water, the movement of wind could also be captured. European settlers brought windmill technology with them, turning wind into power to grind grain. Ranchers and farmers in Alberta used similar technology to pump water from deep wells for their livestock. The iconic windmill became a common sight on Alberta farms and ranches. Hydroelectricity is a clean, renewable energy since the fuel, flowing water, is free and self-renewing. To control the flow of a river, reservoirs were built in order to store water for times when volumes would be low. Hydroelectricity could be transported through long-distance electrical lines to homes, factories and businesses. Alberta's first hydro plant was set up along the Bow River by the Calgary Water Power Company in 1893. In 1911, Calgary Power completed a major hydroelectric plant at Horseshoe Falls along the Bow River 50 miles upstream from Calgary. Another was completed in 1913 at the Kananaskis Dam. But within a few decades, the majority of Alberta's power came from its rivers. Between the creation of the first plant and present day, more than 20 hydroelectric plants have been completed throughout Alberta, making hydropower one of its most important sources of electricity. By 1950, 90% of Canada's electricity needs were met by hydropower. However, the demand for energy increased substantially, leading to a greater reliance on hydrocarbons and other sources. Today, hydropower contributes about 7% to Alberta's overall electricity supply. Coal and oil figure prominently today in the total provision of energy in Alberta. However, alternative sources of energy are gaining in acceptance and usage, and some old ideas are being put into practice once again. But during the 19th century, it was discovered that a mineral called selenium, when exposed to sunlight, produced an electric charge. This was known as the photovoltaic effect. Electricity from sunlight, solar power. 
Research into the use of silicon as a semiconductor eventually led to the production of solar panels. Well, given the rise of energy prices, by the 21st century, more private companies entered the solar manufacturing industry. While the solar energy industry still isn't economically competitive with traditional hydrocarbons like coal, oil, and gas, it is making great strides in becoming increasingly available at the consumer level. Homes are popping up with solar power systems connected to the provincial electrical grid. An experimental solar community in the town of Okotoks demonstrates how solar power can be used on a large scale. As Alberta is the sunniest province in Canada, it's a prime candidate for adopting solar technology. Another resource is geothermal energy. Examples of geothermal energy can be found in Alberta's natural hot springs, which have been used for therapeutic and recreational purposes for centuries. Basically, geothermal energy is using heat from deep in the earth. New methods to harness geothermal energy for heating buildings and powering turbines to create electricity are being explored. The potential applications of this energy resource are vast and research is ongoing. Biomass energy is created by using biological resources like wood, plants, dung or other organic matter. Burning wood to create heat is a form of bioenergy. But it's not just a matter of burning things for heat. Often, it's taking one material and creating something entirely different from it. Biodiesel, for example, is a fuel for automobiles that can be created from vegetable oils, recycled grease, or animal fats. Or ethanol, which is used with gasoline. That can be made from corn, grain, wood materials, waste, and non-food crops. Well, finally, Wind farms have been appearing across Alberta's windier regions since 1993. Similar to the windmills of the past, modern wind turbines tower over 30 meters in height and convert wind power into electrical energy. In 2012, Alberta's wind power generated enough electricity for 310,000 homes. In ideal wind conditions, that total can jump to three times that number. Alberta is Canada's third largest wind power producer behind Ontario and Quebec. Today with increasing environmental concerns, combined with the rising cost of carbon-based energy products, historical sources of energy are being looked at in a new light. Greener renewable energy sources such as wind, hydro, solar, geothermal and biomass processes are again becoming widely accepted alternative solutions to society's energy requirements. Now, these sources are vital to a responsible energy strategy for the future. Electricity and alternative energy, part of Alberta's energy resources heritage.